Hey sixth grade, today we are going to get started on our independent and dependent variables unit. This unit's going to be kind of tricky, so make sure you are ready to pay close attention. Um, in this first lesson, you just have one learning goal and two vocabulary words, but I'm going to give you lots of little tips that you need to make sure you include with your vocab words. So, hope you're ready to take your notes. Here we go. All right, so here is your learning goal for this lesson. Your learning goal is, I will learn to identify the independent and dependent variable in a given situation. So make sure you get that in your notes. Then you're going to have two vocabulary words. So the first one is independent variable. So the independent variable Basically, the definition is pretty simple. It changes independently. That variable will change all on its own. Um, there are three little things that I want you to make sure you get in your notes to that you need to remember that go along with independent variables. The first is that the independent variable always, 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 always comes first. Um, the second is the independent variable is always on the x-axis on a graph, and by the end of this unit we will be graphing our independent and dependent variables. And the last little tip for you is, if the problem involves time, time is always the independent variable. So make sure you click on pause so that you can get all of this in your notes. So the dependent variable, its definition is that it changes in response to the independent variable. Um, a couple of little tips for this one is the dependent variable is always on the y-axis on the graph, and the independent variable, which will be labeled as y, depends on the number chosen for x, and x is the independent variable. So we're going to do a couple of examples together and um, make sure you're following along in your guided notes so that um, you know, you're getting all the information and the steps down just like you need to. Okay, so here's our first example. The middle school band gets $12 for every car they wash at a car wash. So we need to figure out the independent and dependent variable in this particular situation. So the amount of money the band earns at the car wash depends on how many cars the band washes. So in this example, the independent variable is the number of cars the band washes. So let's make sure we get that in your notes. X, which is also the independent variable, oh, whoa, we all know how good I am at typing, it is the number of cars washed, oh my goodness, which means that the y value or the dependent variable, oh my goodness, is the amount of money earned. Not too tricky. The amount of money the band earns depends completely on how many cars the band kids wash, which is why the independent variable is the number of cars washed and the dependent variable is the amount of money the band earns because it has to see what's going on with the independent variable first. All right, let's do another one. Okay, here's our next example. Tim runs 15 miles per hour. The number of miles Tim runs depends on the number of hours he runs. So, the independent variable is the number of hours Tim runs. Whoops, let's capitalize that. Number of hours Tim runs. And the dependent variable is the number of miles he runs. I mean, he can't run more miles than however many hours he is going to run. So the d dependent variable, the number of miles he runs, depends completely upon the amount of time he spends running. Also, one of the tips I gave you earlier in the video is that if it's something involving time, time is always the independent variable. 
hours is part of time, which makes it the independent variable. Here's our last example, and then you'll have to do the couple of extra ones on your own, and you'll see the practice problems given to you in your guided notes. All right, so you've got this girl, Lily, and she's selling cookies for $2.50 to earn money, and we need to figure out what the independent and dependent variables are. So the independent variable is the number of cookies sold. The dependent variable is the amount of money she makes um, because, I mean, unless she sells cookies, she's not going to make any money, and how much she makes depends completely on the number of cookies that she actually sells. So make sure you've gotten all of this in your notes. Um, go on ahead and do the situations that are in your notes. You've got Gus and his pay-on-the-go phone. You have the Pizza House story. Um, and you need to write down the independent and dependent variables of both. And we will go over the answers in class next time we meet. Um, so there you go. Make sure you bring your math binders, your notes, your everything with you to class um, just so I can take a look and I can make sure you're prepared and ready for class.